Hello guys, so you are watching me in Cookie Vagabond and I'm your host Rajesh Vyas. So today we are going to discuss on the point, you should not come to Germany if, yeah there is always if but there is always the solution of if. So don't, don't consider this video as a negative video because I'm not going to spread the negativity in the universe. What I am going to tell you that you should consider these, these, these bullet points which I'm going to explain you today before coming to Germany. And even before you are thinking about Germany, you should be very clear that what you are going to do there and how it will be there. Germany, Switzerland is not like that what you see in Bollywood movies. You have to face the reality. So let's start with uh, today video. So guys the first point which I think is very inconvenient for Indians public especially and who are engineers what they do if they are working in Bangalore or if they are working in Mumbai they already have like some helping person who are preparing lunch dinner and breakfast for them and there is someone we call in India by who will take care of washing clothes who will take care of cleaning house and everything so these facilities already there if you are earning good enough. Uh, good or the maybe medium amount of money so the facilities are there but in germany you will not get these kind of facility all kind of things you have to do yourself for washing clothes it's not like india you have like washing machine and for cleaning things if you are tired of vacuum cleaner and all those stuff you can buy a robot and it will clean for you but make sure you have to do yourself these things and for food what i will say i'm pretty sure that first day you will go outside second day you will go outside but the third third day you will start to think actually oh i need to learn something at least to prepare lunch for myself or maybe to prepare dinner for myself or maybe sometime breakfast so things one once again if you don't know the cooking and if you are not willing to learn nobody know by birth but if you are not willing to learn it's going to be very difficult point for you because i have heard from many people who are frustrated with this kind of facility and they are thinking to move back india as of now let's go to one another point which is very interesting that in germany in india what is the concept of visiting friends and all those stuff we just go and say okay i'm here but here you need to ask people whether you are free on that day or not then and then you can go in their house otherwise you cannot and second thing sunday is family day in germany so everything is closed which is good actually i literally love this point because in india like all the uh, retailers and all all those staffs are working like every day so it, it makes sometimes like some people are not having proper rest but in germany this is good that they said all the shopkeeper all the retailers and everyone is closed on sunday so sunday is completely family day not only nine to five workers but it's all also a family day for all people even shopkeeper or any anyone who are doing business is closed on sunday so it might be surprised for you why i kept this point here some people things like oh we will do chill in germany we will take out in friday night and then we will visit like saturday and sunday and then we will come back on monday but this is not a uh, cup of tea is going to be here because here sunday is everything closed so be prepare everything in advance uh, saturday you need to make plan what you need to buy because uh, sunday you will not buy anything there are there are the place where you can buy uh but we call them kiosk but those are a little bit expensive like i can give you example if you are getting milk around 0.5 euro cent then in kiosk it might be one euro or maybe 1.20 euro so you can feel the difference so better to be prepared if you are not then i don't think it's worth decision you have you are thinking to come germany and second thing germans are very straight they are not like we call in hindi word chaplus they are not making buttering to anyone okay this and that mm -hmm. but they are very straight if you you literally hate to be to be straight then i, I don't think this is the place for you but for me it's i feel good i mean it's better to hear something now and straight rather than uh, listening from someone else so i think this is the valid point and you you should think again okay if somebody is getting harsh on you then you, you have not to be like mm, what happened to me what happened to this guy so it's just general concept they don't say right and left they just say straight 
maybe one point i want to say you and i think it's worth to share this point with you that ap- apartment so a ap- finding apartment like in big city berlin stuttgart in frankfurt is really really difficult to find apartment i mean it takes sometime one month it takes sometime two months and to find one apartment support you luckily get some viewing and in viewing there are like 5 10 50 and sometime 100 people looking at same apartment and then owner will decide who will be the next tenant so it's like a kind of lucky game if you are lucky enough you will get the apartment otherwise it might possible that you are living in hotel for like 3 or 4 months but like in india or some other part of asian country even in japan when i was there uh, you will get apartment within 4 5 days you just tell uh, real estate agent what kind of apartment you need and what kind of locality you want Uh, apartment and then they will like uh, find things for you and they will show you five six apartment and you have to choose one or you can tell them okay these are not satisfied up to the mark for me but please find some other ones and they will do that so finding apartment is not a big task in japan but i think finding apartment is literally a big task in germany and second thing once you find apartment and you buy like sofa or you buy like uh, from ikea if you buy like uh, furniture so you have to assemble those things yourself in, in in it's not like in india or some like in japan also they will make everything and they deliver as it is in your room but in germany it's not like that from ikea you will get like three box with the number 1 2 3 and then you have to assemble as per their assemble books so if you think this is a little bit hard work for you then i don't think this is good decision but to make positive reply i would say this is only one time task one things are done means done so you don't have to make your bet every month so think about it some people who are from asian country they think like europe even from us they think like in europe tax is very high but uh, my friend i want to tell you one thing europe yeah tax is very high but once you can see if you are living here for long time your kids will get like free education yeah health insurance you can say it's too much expensive but you have seen in corona time what they did they did well germany did well and doing well in corona time so it's worth to spend money on health insurance also so taxes are uh, i will say not taxes but i will say deduction in germany is quite high from salary so it can go up to 40 plus also and it minimum maybe it can go like 25 or 30 also so it's like a little bit big chunk of money which will be deducted from your salary uh, but few things are good social security is very good here if you give those kind of taxes for one year and you get somebody fired you from company then they will pay you like for one year some huge amount of money like 70 or 60 percent of your Uh, let us salary and then you can survive for that for one year so don't think like that way that you will not get the benefit out of it what you are paying as a deduction but yeah everybody want like more money in pocket rather than deduction so uh, if you are coming uh, europe for money then i i think it's not the place you can go to us you can and a lot of money there in silicon valley but if you want to think about work life balance you if you want to think about a little bit luxury on life uh, a little bit more time with family friends daughter son so i think this is the best place you can spend a whole time with your family and trust me i have been working in germany like two year and i am very satisfied that i am i am having time with my family on my weekend and emergency is always there which is perfectly fine for me no issue at all maybe the last and not least point is language so if you are moving to some english speaking country like uk or us then sometimes it's very easy to move because you don't need to learn languages but in germany you have to learn language like i have a good experience when i went visited some uh, german immigration office they told me oh you don't know german and we we called in uh, like if in normal wording you can say a ah, ambi- ambition deutsch means a little bit uh, german i understand but then they say oh if some uh, german are in us so us will never accept that they are speaking german they will say oh you are in us so please speak in english and same thing they told me you are in germany so please speak in german we don't accept in english and these are the things however i was very surprised like in 
immigration is the first place where you face these things and immigration department or they belong to the foreigners so i think they should know at least two or three languages so that this work should be a little bit easy rather than being this situation or oh, either you come with some translator or the, or, or you can uh, speak german so it's little bit difficult but it's as i said it's all one point task so it's once that interview is done so then till 2 3 years you will not see them again until unless you are not doing some pr things early and all those stuff what i want to say in this uh, video please don't con- don't don't consider this video as a negative video what i said please don't come to germany if there is if and there is a terms and condition behind that so if you can do these kind of things yourself then germany is the best place what i will say till now but if you are scared of doing some hard work then i think it it's not the place for you regarding the householding other other kind of stuff once you have enough money and you are getting enough salary or you can afford those kind of things then somebody can help you in that so it's not a big deal but yeah think once again like plumbers electricians are expensive here they these are the jobs which we learn in vocational courses those are a little bit expensive here that everybody who will spend time on you will charge money multiply by time so if plumber is at home and he is spending to f- um, fixing your tap for one or two hours then it's going to be uh put you on more money on your bill and of course tips is the culture here so most of the people will do their household themselves even the electrician and tapping work and all those stuff they do themselves or they ask from some side where they they can put coating and they somebody accept okay i can do in this amount of money and then they can do this kind of stuff so things are good here there is nothing bad you can come here but uh, what i say when you are going somewhere then please prepare your mind in that way that these are the thing you need to do there so are you there are you still with me so if you are still with me think once again before coming here and see you in next video if you like this video please like share comment and please subscribe this channel because i'm going to make this kind of video again and again so things will be everything about germany and japan and sometime travel or or lifestyle video so see you in next video bye then ciao ciao bye bye